Hey YouTube, it's ICU, and today I wanted to discuss an interesting development in the world of jailbreaking. Hacker Stefan Esser has successfully achieved a new jailbreak on the latest beta release being iOS 8.4. All right, now to start off, if you want to win a brand new iPhone 6, entries to my giveaway will actually conclude on Monday, so be sure to enter now by visiting freeappsfast.com inside of Mobile Safari, signing up, then come back here, rate this video up, and leave a relevant comment down below in the comment section containing your referral code, which is the piece that appears in the fourth tab after the link itself. So earlier today, hacker Stefan Esser, better known online as Ionic, released a video flaunting his latest alleged achievement, an iOS 8.4 beta one jailbreak, which presumably includes its predecessor as well, the latest public firmware, iOS 8.3. Now given that Taiji was patched by Apple with the release of 8.1.3, the public has been in desperate need of a new jailbreak utility to function on and in turn jailbreak, either iOS 8.3 or the forthcoming iOS 8.4 firmware. However, such a tool more than likely won't come into fruition as the result of today's jailbreak 8.4 teaser video posted by the aforementioned hack who pulled a similar stunt last year with his so-called and self-proclaimed cyber elevator jailbreak. Now, for those of you who are either new to the world of jailbreaking or who simply don't quite recall and require a reminder, approximately 11 months ago, Ionic, the hacker who previously willingly contributed to the jailbreak community, posted a similar video as the one that's propagating throughout the Apple blogosphere today that showcased a potential new jailbreak solution for iOS 7.1.1, a firmware that, like today's iOS 8.1.3, iOS 8.2, and iOS 8.3 releases, patched the current untethered jailbreak at the time, being Evasion 7. Now, while it's best to not put much stock in Ionic's latest work, the potential that it may influence the future of jailbreaking still exists. So to provide some additional insight on the current situation, it's best to have a grasp on the struggle between Ionic and Pangu. Following the release of the previously mentioned Cyber Elevator tease of yesteryear, Esser opted to never make anything of the jailbreak and to simply utilize the primary exploitation technique during his training seminars. But unbeknownst to Ionic, Pangu was in attendance at one of said seminars and, due to the fact that the hacker didn't require NDAs or non-disclosure agreements, inevitably utilized the method to first jailbreak iOS 7.1.1 followed by iOS 7.1.2 in the group's first Pangu utility. From then on, Ionic has publicly shared his complete and total disdain of Pangu with anyone who will listen, publicly ridiculing Pangu, who, much to Ionic's displeasure, continued to offer up solutions to rectify the matter, including both switching out exploits they used and suggesting that they provide Esser with monetary compensation. In fact, the very issue is the reason why Pangu just recently started testing their new vulnerabilities that they've been saving on iOS 8. 8.3. Esser was previously taking up too much of the group's time with what most would consider to be unwarranted drama. So the moral of the story, Ionic tends to not release his works, as he's continued to prove over the years throughout other past instances as well. Furthermore, in the description of the video, that's the highlight of today's news, which ironically enough, I won't link to to avoid perpetuating toxic attitudes amongst select jailbreakers, the hacker states that it's not only only a quote proof of concept, i.e. he likely won't release it, but that he hasn't even achieved untethered functionality due to the fact that quote something is broken. So while we shouldn't get too excited over this video, seeing as the exploits utilized will almost certainly never see the light of day, save another possible scenario where other jailbreak developers release it, though the chances of that happening now are slim to none as Esser is infinitely more cautious, it provides hope that others may soon achieve a similar feat. Teams like Taiji and Pangu, who are both working on creating new jailbreak tools and actually intend to release them, may soon complete their work and make it available for millions to enjoy. So again guys, keep in mind this isn't an actual jailbreak utility, it's just Stefan Esser posting his typical teasers and showing what he hypothetically speaking can achieve, in this case an iOS 8.4 jailbreak. Again, 
8.4 being the first beta iteration of its kind. Now, he also in the video went on to prove that it was indeed iOS 8.4 by showing the keyboard going through the new emoji selection method and also showing some of the new options. And then from there, he also went into the new music app to show that again, it is indeed the revised version that's only found in iOS 8.3. And then opening up Cydia and simply scrolling down to the bottom to confirm that it does state that it's an iPhone 6 Plus running iOS 8.4 beta 1 jailbroken. But again, it doesn't have untethered access and we likely will never see the jailbreak and it probably won't be released to the public. So unfortunately, that's just the way it is and I wanted to provide some clarification for you guys on that matter as well as to also dispel something. Taiji has not been sold to Apple. It's a common misconception that because in iOS 8.3, Apple fixes additional security vulnerabilities that the group sold out and they essentially took monetary compensation in exchange for disclosing new vulnerabilities. Again, that's not the case. They're just leftover vulnerabilities that iOS 8.1.3 didn't address from the original Taiji jailbreak. So keep that in mind. Also, both groups are working on developing new jailbreak tools. I will keep you guys completely updated along the way. And I'll also be the first to publish my untethered jailbreak tutorial. So subscribe if you aren't already. And if you want to be notified more often, such as when I release updates similar to this one, as well as my eventual tutorial when the new utilities are made available, just be sure to like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.